Hello and welcome to this video on configuring email forwarding and aliases in Exchange Admin Center. So, email forwarding allows administrator to automatically redirect email from one mailbox to another, and when aliases enable user to receive emails at multiple addresses linked to a single mailbox. So, here in this video, first we will configure the email forwarding for a mailbox and then add an alias to an existing mailbox so let's get started let's switch to the admin center and here we are already logging to the Microsoft 65 admin center but to proceed in this video we will going to log in to the exchange admin center with the administrator credentials and once you log in and navigate it to the exchange admin center so on the left you have recipients options available and then click to the mailboxes option that is available and select the mailbox which you want to configure for forwarding and here i'm going to select this gss test user that have the license so it would be easier for us to manage the settings of this particular user and then click to the mailbox pane on the user properties and here scroll down and if you don't want to scroll just look to the right here we have the heading email forwarding so click to manage email forwarding link and when you click here so you will see a toggle button that is currently toggled off so you need to first enable this option to start email forwarding so let's click to toggle it on and then you will see these options like forwarding address and it is selected by default forward and internal email address and you can set up for the external as well and here you can provide any of your external email address like that and what's going to happen that when when any email came from internal or the outside domain of your environment that email will be forwarded to your external email and this could be your own personal email as well but we don't do these things in the corporate in a you know in a organization so what we do is to because let's say for example that any of your user has resigned your company and his mailbox is still in use there are a lot of imported emails that are being sent to that email address so what you do is to create the email forwarding and set up your email address in this forward internal email address section so these all email will be sent to your account and will be forwarded to your mailbox and you will have the access of the information of the stuff that is going on so here you need to select forward and to an internal email address and click to search email and it will show you all the users who have the exchange license who are currently available on the exchange online product so right now for the testing environment we will select this team 01 and click to add now what's going to happen that whenever you send an email to this gss test user 2 this this email will be forwarded to this shared mailbox so you can do this thing as well that if you have the whole department and one of that you one of the member of that department has left the company so you can manage and you can make this email forwarding to a shared mailbox which is shared across the whole department and that's what we are doing right now so once you provide that forward to an internal email address information and then you have another option deliver message to both forwarding address and the mailbox so what's going to happen if you make the check here so email will still go to that user email user mailbox but if you don't select that option so the email will be forwarded to that is specific destination so it will not go to that user mailbox so it's up to you then click to save and here it may take up to five minutes for these changes to appear and that's how you can manage the email forwarding on exchange admin center and now let's discuss how to add an email aliases so again let's go to the exchange admin center home and again go to the mailboxes and select the user whose aliases you wanted to change 
and click to that user and here you have this added button click to the email address and this would be an easier step to edit the aliases but there is another way to manage and change the current aliases just click to that user and here click to the mailbox option and no go to the journal back and here you have manage email address type and click to this link and here you have few you know the email aliases has been displayed so you can add new and make sure to select that SMTP is selected so make sure that this option is selected and then you can type the new email address aliases and select the domain and you can make check to make it as the primary email address and there you go so that's how it's done so here in this video we have successfully configured the email forwarding and added an alias says using the exchange admin center and you know the forwarding helps redirect emails automatically while the aliases provide flexibility in receiving emails under different addresses